What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some Don Machi. Very excited to be saying that. We are back at it with Season 5, Episode 1. With those of you who don't know, with the first and last episode of every season of every show on the channel, the full-length version, which is normally a Patreon exclusive, is available for free for everyone. Click that link in the top of the description. Enjoy that free full-length. Come back here for the review. If you want to keep that for the rest of the movies, the shows, everything, consider checking out that tier over on Patreon. If you guys want to watch this live before it even goes on Patreon, check out the Twitter twitch twitch.tv slash dapper darius i'm not gonna waste any more time um don machi season five episode one let's do it all right here we go where we start is this is this seer in a field of flowers crying we haven't even started the season and bell's already adding another another girl into his harem Like, Belle, share some of the girls with the rest of us, bro. You have literal goddesses that love you, man. <laughs> Lily Ruka finally leveled up? You, girly. You were the only level one. Oh, my bad. That's insulting. I did not realize Haruhime is still level one. Never mind. W. W. Yeah, Oculus return. Kanpai! Hey, Daphne and Cassandra. Shout out them leveling up. The Goddess Festival. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay, we have a festival going on. Or at least about to start. <laughs> yes, but not in the way you're thinking. She's actively avoiding looking at us 24-7. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not like we did the did or anything, but we almost died about 65 times. Okay, I mean, when I think about it, we did have to cuddle almost naked to retain body heat, which I guess is all, you know what I'm saying? But, like, yep, exactly what I was thinking. I mean, we uh, cuddling naked can, I guess. My man has a harem of women. God damn, girly! <laughs> you know your nerves get the best of you when the guy you have a crush on, you just fucking put him in a fucking backflip and break his arm. If I ever have a girl that likes me like that, I pray she never does that to me. Especially after last season, I'll enjoy any any nice, happy conversations I can have before everyone just starts dying brutally and getting cut in half. I feel bad for Seer, but girl, you gotta tell tell him your feelings. I hope we have no. I hope it's more awkward and cute versus like actual arguments and fighting, you know. That's very upfront and honest with her. That's what, that's the last thing that we would like to happen, you know? W friend, W coworker. That makes you feel sad, because obviously Ryu means that from the bottom of her heart. Like, she genuinely 
owes her her life, but it's like, she also obviously is falling for Belle too, so. Oh, if she don't look like she a part of the Freya Familia, whether I like it or not. Okay. You just come here, say I have an uncouth face. You showed up here. It has to be Freya. Is it from Seer? Is able to get a letter delivered by the assistant of Freya? They're screaming into the night. Paul and what's her face? Hestia is so cute. My sincerest apologies. They're treating this like it's an actual like wartime offense. Dishonorable mom. A friend, huh? Support. Their little cat puns are so funny to me. No guys permitted at all. See, Ryu feels so bad. I feel bad for her. She doesn't want to upset Seer or anyone else, but she doesn't want to deny her own feelings, you know? Otaro? Freya fam. Are those triplets? Those fucking quint qua quadruplets? Lady Seer? Our honorable patron? Why is it such a big deal? Who is she to them? This guy reminds me of the Bakugo kind of characters, you know? Alan. I remember him from earlier. Who just tossed my man a hundred feet? Good save. Oh, it's homeboy under Freya. Oh my. In the middle of time. In the middle of Times Square. Oh, I love his weapon too. Is Freya's guy. Elder Slave. I didn't. And just like that, we're kidnapped. Okay, that was the end of the first episode. Okay. Talk about a way to end it. Like we got a post credit scene. Mmm. Seer. Oh, she is a goddess. So, Seer, the waitress at the bar we've been going to is a bad goddess who's now going to talk to Freya. Don't get me wrong. That in and of itself is fine. Freya is not going to allow that to happen. Ooh, what's the condition? So we know Freya's going to do some sneaky shit in the background to try to expose that. Okay, that's going to be our plot for the next foreseeable future. Ah, damn, Freya. Ooh. One off game between the goddess and me. Okay, Freya versus Seer was not what I expected the season to be. All right, that was a great first episode. Very setup heavy, getting us into the plot and the, the world of this season. Obviously, I expect that for the first episode, but I like how it introduced us to more Freya characters. Seer is now expanded as a much deeper character now that we know she is shackled by the responsibilities of goddessness. I wonder what her specific title is, the goddess of XYZ. Um, that's not what I was expecting, her to go on a date with Belle and try to hide the fact that she's a goddess. We still have so much else going on. 
I'm just curious where this is gonna lead. Like, is it purely gonna be this? Is there gonna be action involved? Obviously there is. That is, it's not gonna be dungeon or Xeno related. I'm just so curious. You know, a lot of questions. I'm sure I'll be getting some answers. Great first episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out that Patreon, all that jazz. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them and do one good deed today. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.